for developing this project was so the first experience was uh, Kubishev Reservoir in the Volga River. An aquatic drone is monitoring the principal parameters, temperature, pH, dissolved oxygen, water conductivity, and some ion salt, ammonia nitrates, etc. All the sensors and the communication platform has been delivered by Nivellum. Nivellum is a Spanish company founded in 2006 exclusively focused in IoT. We have customers in more than 120 countries, more than 90 partners worldwide, and 44 distributors covering more than 50 countries. The main target of our technology is the interoperability, connecting any sensor to any cloud using any communication protocol. Livelium has three main product lines, WASMOD or OEM line, the communication platform, plug and sense, who is our encapsulated range of product ready to be deployed, and meshing or internet gateway. One of the most important business lines in Liberium is smart water. We have two lines. One for monitoring the physical parameters, temperature, dissolved oxygen, electroconductivity, pH, oxygen reduction potential or turbidity, and another line for monitoring the principal solved ions in the water, nitrites, nitrates, ammonia, etc., up to 15 different sensors. Recently, we have released our Smart Water Extreme Ranch with a higher accuracy using top level sensors with lower maintenance and calibration needs. We have added new parameters like a total salt of the solids, etc. The new equips have a better performance even in salted water. Contact us for further information or visit our website liberty.com. Let's go deeply into the case study. The advantages of the equips from Liberium for this application are the flexibility, the quick development, the completeness of the range of the good ratio between the accuracy and the cost of the deployment. This is a general view of the aqua drone on the water of the Kubishev Reservoir in Volga River. Idolab Rus, Smart IoT Distribution or Distributor in Russia, and the Toliati University have designed the water drone able to navigate solar power and to measure the water quality in different points. The data are uploaded to the Romonomics platform and are proposed to the users through a system based in blockchain. Alistair Hassanov, Chief Engineer of Airlab Rus, explained us uh, how the system works. Hello, my name is Alistair. I have a master's degree in robotics. More than a year I work in for Airlab adopting decentralized technologies for cities and industry. Before this, I have been working uh, in industrial companies so like automotive uh, for startup operation in Ford. Uh, with uh, smart metering projects and uh, for um, industrial IoT in uh, oil and gas industry. And uh, now I'm working with uh, blockchain technologies for IoT in smart cities. In our experiments and projects with partners, we show how it works. This year, in projects for urban environment, we applied decentralized technologies for children's playground, air pollution monitoring service with Libelium smart environment platform for fast air pollution measurement by sensor installed on unmanned aerial vehicle with Olibelium Gazes Pro on board, for measurements over a rubbish dump and for water pollution monitoring service in drone and Volga as well. In all of these projects we choose Libelium WaspMod and WaspMod Plug and Sense as the best in market by ratio of speed of prototype realization, setup flexibility 
measurements, reliability and price. Working on this, we became to decentralize the technology's concept as a way to create smart city platform with zero expenses on its digital infrastructure. We see the future of Internet of Things in smart cities as a services in human internet. Data is a service, sensor is a service, or even a measurement work as a service, and we provide tools for it. Third generation of internet technologies are serverless and peer-to-peer -peer technologies. I mean, you don't mind about where your software works, who maintain it, and uh, transmissions performs without an intermediate server. There is a winter and water surface drone weights and storage, but let's see how similar service with data ordering works in general. There is a very simple interface for a demo. User get web interface from distributed storage. Pushing the button sends demand for data from sensors in the city. Weather stations give data by peering protocol for free. Air pollution sensor offers to buy its measurement work. Pushing this button, user sends an agreement with terms of service to create a smart contract. Sign this agreement. After this, decentralized market creates a contract service take liability to send measurement. Data transmits through content addressable storage, means by its hash, a unique footprint. This hash puts to blockchain as a sensor work result. At right side, we can see this hash and data itself below. First is the same in the drone and Volga, but to order a measurement mission service. As we observe, there are similar issues everyone facing with when start connect real world with blockchain. Pure blockchain is not enough. Decentralized market is necessary. You need a way to exchange negotiation messages before economically significant transaction and agreement between parties. There is a need for interfacing tool to connect service hardware and secure its data to make it trustworthy. There is a need for smart contracts infrastructure, for example, a template service contract like we use templates for paper contracts and don't make it from scratch. There is a need for tools to verify results given by automatic systems. And finally, you need a network of computers to launch decentralized infrastructure. We have solutions for these issues and combine them in our Robonomics platform. All our projects made on Robonomics platform. To dive in more, please visit our website. Have a good luck! Thank you very much, Ali, sir. Well, thank you all for your arcane attention. If you need further information, do not hesitate to contact us. Now is the tour for your questions and comments. Any question? Well, what's the use of this kind of measures? Uh, we have a, a question from Madhu Karvasne. Uh, well, uh, the idea is to monitor the water quality. What's the aim of, of uh, monitoring the water quality? The aim of monitoring the water quality is, for example, inside programs for conservating wildlife, uh, for knowing uh, how the, the, the wastewater factories are working. So you can uh, monitor the most important parameters. First of all, the, the most important physical parameters like uh, pH, 
oxygen reduction potential, temperature, dissolved oxygen, turbidity, etc. And some important ions, for example, uh, all the ions based in, in nitrogen, like uh, nitrates, nitrites, uh, ammonia, etc. And uh, this way you can uh, know if the water is useful so for some application and what kind of treatment you need to, uh, to make with this water for making this water useful for the equipment consumption. Uh, Alicia, can you uh, give an answer to Spiros Vas, please, uh, about uh, the, the blockchain technology and, uh, and the participation of uh, blockchain in, in the project? Well, I, I'm trying to give, uh, to give uh, uh, Alicia has uh, shared a, a link uh, with, uh, with, the, with the most important information about the project for, for their side. So I'm trying to give uh, some other, some other uh, answers. First of all, I have a, a question about the, uh, how about uh, the irrigation water. Of course, it's important to monitor the water quality for irrigation projects. Just imagine you uh, have a crop that is uh, very sensitive to the, to the conductivity, for example, like uh, the cane sugar or some other. And if you are uh, working in a saline soil and besides you are adding more salt uh, with the irrigation water, you can have serious problems. So it's important not only to monitor the, the soil quality or the soil characteristic, but also the irrigation water and regarding mainly the physical parameters, uh, pH, uh, the soil, uh, the, the, the conductivity uh, in the soil, the conductivity in the water, uh, depending on the kind of the crop is more important to, to, to monitor the, the irrigation water. Uh, another question from, uh, another question from, from Diana Moreno. Uh, how important is for evaluating the precision of the instruments and, and for the purposes discussed? Uh, the precision is important, of course it's important. And not only the precision of the, of the measure, but also it's important to know the variation in the time. I mean, uh, when you have a, a, a sudden variation in one of the most important parameters, like the pH, for example, if you are monitoring a river or a lake or whatever, and then you have a, a sudden uh, variation in the in the in the pH or in the electroconductivity, you don't know exactly what the problem is, but you know that uh, you have an important problem. And sometimes it's very much better to know immediately that you have a problem for avoiding any uh, healthy problems. Uh, you can close the, the valves. You can uh, uh, get forbidden to swimming. You can you can take a lot of measures for avoiding uh, uh, further problems. So it's very important to know not only with accuracy the real data, but also to know the, 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 the behavior of the parameters uh, following a, a timeline. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, do you go? Uh, Rah Patel said, uh, "Do you uh, are you going to share this presentation?" Yes, we, we are going to, to share tomorrow morning. You will have in our in our website. Uh, the sensors uh, need to be periodically calibrated as any other sensor. How autonomous are they? So, uh, first of all, the, the unit is uh, powered by a solar panel, but inside uh, they have uh, some batteries that uh, make a very uh, absolutely useful in the, in the night. And not only in the night, but uh, you can work uh, several days without the, the solar panel regarding the, the, the sensors. Uh, it's important to calibrate, of course, and in a real deployment like that, you must calibrate every few days. Mm, five days, seven days would be uh, good to do, and uh, we think that the, 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 the more often you calibrate, the better is the accuracy and the higher is the reliability of the system. 
uh, using 4G. So yes, you can sh you can use uh, 4G. You can use uh, LoRaWAN, for example, as uh, we did uh, something like that in other country in Iran, and uh, we used uh, LoRaWAN. But uh, you can use uh, 4G. The only problem with 4G is that uh, is the the most exigent from the power point of view. So you must uh, preview a uh, good uh, set of batteries in a big solar panel for feeding a, for powering a, a system working in, in 4G. There's no way to change that data later. This is the comment of Alisher and I absolutely agree. Uh, we use, uh, oh, they are using a blockchain for making exactly impossible to change the data after the data are shown. With what frequency uh, uh, an answer for Hank Smink? Uh, with what frequency is the quality measured? Usually the quality is measured every 10 or 15 minutes. But uh, um, if, if you need a, a, a lower frequency, I mean, if you need to monitor every two or three minutes, uh, definitely uh, wireless is not your method. If you are uh, interested only in, in, in online uh, values or in real time uh, measuring, uh, you must uh, go to wired systems uh, for taking the data, sending the data using 4G or using uh, any other system, uh, co collecting the data and receiving the message as uh, all was okay. You need some minutes or some seconds. So uh, usually for, for, uh, uh, from the point of view of the powering, for powering the unit and uh, powering using 4G is uh, the worst uh, scenario you can use every 15 minutes it should be a very conservative uh, uh, design and it will, will will work fine from the from the point of view of the energy Alisher has sent a, a, a link uh, with uh, an example that they made with uh, IoT in oil and gas with the same concept between blockchain and, and IoT Any other question? Well, thank, thank you very much. And, uh, I sincerely apologize for the technical problems we have at the beginning. Uh, tomorrow you will uh, you can download uh, the, the presentation from our website and from our YouTube channel. And if you need uh, to contact us, uh, don't hesitate to contact us uh, directly at sales at and in the website of of uh, our partner Alisher Hassan. Thank you very much, and uh, see you in our next webinar.